city makes Ferhat dig the mountains. A city makes Strabo write geography. A city makes princes wander in its bosom. A city where history, science, nature flow together. A city called Amasya, an indescribable taste on my palate, a glorious river flowing in my heart. Life and the instinct for existence is the strongest emotion of mankind. Harshina Castle overlooks the city of Amasya from the summit of the towering Hashina mountain proudly and recklessly, as though it will protect the dwellers from all kinds of dangers. The Yeshilermak River encircles it like a jade necklace, flows day and night along its twisting roads. There is sometimes conversation, sometimes joy, sometimes peace along the waterside. Amasya is a city of beauties with its Yalaboyo mansions and houses, warm, hospitable people, its bridges connecting the hearts of people as well as both sides of the city, and its spectacular scenery captivating you from all angles. The city of Amasya protects its history, the common heritage of mankind, as though it were an extension of the body, safeguarding it for all people. Thousands of well-protected historical artifacts allow visitors to travel through eons within minutes, like they were in a time machine. The old saying goes, Amasya is such a city, that if a horse paws the ground in a deserted corner, its hoof touches a civilization. The saying expresses the uninterrupted linked chains of civilizations in Amasya, the city of civilizations. With a known history of 8,500 years, this city, which became the country for mankind, occasionally calls you from prehistoric time with its unique statue of Teshu, the god of storm. Sometimes you can wander the mysterious roads of the AD period with the 14th century mummies of the Ilkhanid Empire. While daylight reflects reality with all its clarity, nights are pregnant with thousands of dreams which sparkle like a sea of light.
This is the city of Amasya. It conceals various beauties in its bosom. Night misses the day. Day misses the night in this city. Amasya is an art center, the center of science and knowledge. These lands gave birth to such famous people as the geographer Strabo, Lokman Hekim, medical expert Zabunjuolu Sherafetin, Akshemsetin, poet Mihri Khatun, Sheikh Hamdullah, Ottoman princes, and many more. Amasya is like a mother with its insurmountable hills and its wet, fertile soils, which yield thousands of types of crops. A sacred mother who cares for, nurtures, and feeds her children. Since Adam and Eve, the apple has never had such an authentic and unique character. The cherry has never been this colorful. Okra has never been so delicious. The blessings offered by the generous soil become keshkek, toya soup, stuffed broad beans, prince dessert in the hands of Amasians, and are made with love. Nature gave a difference, a characteristic to the water, stone, soil of this city. That's why a mixture of admiration and amazement embraces you in Seven Swan Bird Sanctuary, which is home to thousands of varieties of birds. You cannot take your eyes off the rich flora and fauna of Amasya's nature. That's why you find peace and silence at Bora Bay Lake and health and wellness in Amasya's Thermal Springs. The name Sabunjuolu Sherafetin should be commemorated when one talks about health in Amasya. Sabunjuolu Sherafetin, like practitioners in other fields, incorporated practices of the time while advancing general and surgical medicine. This man of medicine, who was born in Amasya in 1386, made valuable contributions in the field of medicine for 14 years, beginning at the age of 17, following his education in Amasya Hospital. He cured many people. Today, in the same old hospital building, art lovers of Amasya instill joy of life in our hearts through the divine power of music. Each avenue and street of this sacred city leads to a different time and culture. While Hatunye Quarter and Hazarenlar Mansion represent the 1800s and 1900s, the children of this land call from Shezade Square with drum and pipe. Every movement passes in front of our eyes like a picture coming from the past.
Handicrafts are still sought after in this city, where traditional craft works link the past to the present, bringing the same excitement. Activities held during the International Ataturk Culture and Art Week offer a panoply of friendship and fraternity, beginning on June 12th every year. Amasya is a city of Pacta Sunt Servanda, a city with respect for the past where each civilization born in its bosom did not externalize or assimilate the previous. Because of this respect, you wander on the peak of human determination in the ancient Ferhat water channel and have the opportunity to see splendid works of humankind in the well-preserved BC era King Rock tombs and in the Mirror Cave. Amasya is a city of freedom and rebirth. It is the place where Mitridates Eupidor ended Roman imperialism. This is the place where Ottoman unity, which was disrupted in the interregnum period, was regained by Chelebi Sultan Mehmet. What will save the nation's independence is again the nation itself, said Ghazi Mustafa Kemal in Amasya. The first torch of the Republic was lit here in Amasya Circle. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. Amasya is the city of faith and tolerance. Various faiths and understandings have lived in harmony in these lands since antiquity. well-preserved historical artifacts of antiquity, Ottoman, Seljuk, and Islamic times, which evoke admiration, await visitors all over the city. The Amasya Guk Madrasa, Chilehane, Burmala Minaret Mosques, almost challenge time with their alive and quiet statue, just like the faith they represent, are among the most profound works representing the Islamic faith. When it comes to faith, not even a single corner of Amasya was forgotten. For this reason, the Gamush Hachikoy Madin Mosque, the Merzifon Kara Mustafa Pasha, and Abide Hatun Mosques were constructed with the same attention, just like the religious works in Amasya City. Amasya, the city of science and knowledge, is a country of education and teaching where preeminent statesmen and scientists were raised. 
Notable Ottoman sultans, such as Mehmed the Conqueror, Sultan Selim I, Bayezid I, Chalabi Mehmed, Murad II, Murad III, Sultan Bayezid II, drew inspiration from this old city during certain periods of their lives. Madrasas are the scientific and historical spaces of Amasya. Gok Madrasa, constructed by Amasya governor Seyfetin Torumtai in 1267, is a surviving Seljuk work with a mosque and a tomb in its garden. It is still in use today. Yuk A Madrasa, which is among the works constructed during the reign of Sultan Bayezid II, was constructed by Chief White Eunuch Hussein A. The Madrasa has a unique structure with its octagonal interior and exterior. Complexes are the presentation areas of Ottoman civilization. The Sultan Bayezid II complex was constructed by Amasya governor, Prince Ahmed, in 1468. This historical complex, which consists of a mosque, madrasa, almshouse, a fountain with a tank, and many manuscripts, particularly the Holy Quran, written by Hazreti Osman, is like a living witness of all past experiences, complete with grand plane trees in its garden, and a miniature Amasya, which conveys today's Amasya to the future. This city is in love with the sun. However, we all know that there is some longing, there is some separation in the essence of all loves. One afternoon, while the sun goes down the mountains as if kissing its lover on the forehead, the city of Amasya calls you for a fresh start.